My name is Julia Isaac, J-U-L-I-A-I-S-A-A-C, Police Community Liaison for the Clayton County Police Department. On December the 3rd, 2022 at 11 p.m., Clayton County Police Department responded to 1078 Citizens Parkway in reference to a person shot. Upon arrival to the scene, officers noticed hundreds of teenagers running away from the scene. Uh, once they got up to the location, they observed a female deceased from a gunshot wound in front of the entrance. During the investigation, officers learned that Layla Harris um, came to a high school party. It was hosted um, by un unknown individuals and it, it was held for students for the metro area. At this time, we're asking for assistance from the public we're asking for anyone to come forward that has any information in reference to this shooting. We need your assistance to find justice for Layla Harris. That's all I have at this time, unless you have any questions. Yes, ma'am. Her spelling? L-A-I-L-A -L -A Harris. L-A-I-L-A. Yeah, L-A-I-L-A. -A. Age. She is 15 years old. Julia, exactly where did the shooting take place? Was it inside the party or outside? An individual was escorted off of the property. Um, he came back with an accomplice and he shot up the location. Um, I'm assuming at the point that everybody was scattering and running, um, she was caught in the crossfire. Are there surveillance video uh, on the location or something that could help you guys? At this time, the investigators are following all leads, so that will include us trying to look for any video that's available. Yeah. Um, um, are witnesses assisting you guys? There's lots of people out there. Are they helping? I just want to say if anyone knows what happened, if they have any information, to please come forward. Julia, and just once again, here's another example of young people shooting and ending a life. Can you speak to that, uh, about the need to put the guns down and stop this violence? A little bit, yes. Um, I just ask that the parents know where their teenagers are. Uh, we get multiple reports a week of juveniles running away or sneaking away from home, and then they coming back. Um, a couple of hours later or days later. Um, it also is like a revolving door because um, we do have um, mostly teenagers that break into cars. If they see guns inside of the cars, they're gonna break the window to get that gun. And in turn, they use that gun to commit another crime. So um, it's a full circle. If we can take all of our belongings out of the car, maybe they won't steal the guns if we keep our kids and, and pay attention to them and keep them home, know where they are, maybe they won't sneak out to break into someone's car. Mm 